Hey there, good evening, Adam here. I'm going to very quickly today show you how to assign people to tasks in Monday.com. Uh, I'm going to show you the manual method for how to do it, and then I'm going to show you a couple different automations, and uh, just for some food for thought once you get to that point, because realistically, automations are the way to go if you're going to use Monday. Otherwise, you could basically just do the same thing inside of an Excel spreadsheet. All right, All right so I'm going to create a new board so that we start fresh. That way, you know, I won't be using any of my boards that already have current automations, which would really sort of mess up the process. So I'm going to delete all the items real quick, just to give us a nice clean start. So the manual way to do it is you have groups where you can create an item. Uh, and an item is, for most people, a task. So let's just say, Here's your task, and then you want to assign a person to it on your team. You're going to click on the person, you're going to see a little face thing, you'll click on it, and then they'll show up right here. So you can see a couple people on our team. I And I can assign it to myself, I can assign it to anybody else on our team, and they will get a notification that they were assigned if they have their notification set up to accept it. And you can also have it email you if you want to have that level of, uh, I, I guess, annoyance. I personally would have it set up so you just get a notification inside the program because the whole idea behind this program is to cut down on the amount of emails. So that's how you manually assign. The second way to assign is automatically using automations. So this is really where you should try to get to. So let's just say this is my board. This is Adam's to do. So the only people, or the only person that's going to have stuff assigned to them is me on this board. So I don't want to have to say, you know, I don't want to, don't want to click on it every time and click on my name. That's annoying. So we're going to go into automations, create. So here's the basic ones. Uh, and they already create some easy basic ones to sort of get you started. You know, baby's first steps, essentially. Uh, this is the one you would need if it's just going to be assigned to the creator of the you know, if you're just creating tasks for yourself, you can actually just use this template. So it's basically when an item or a task is created, then you would assign the creator and the column, I'll show you where that column is, but you're gonna assign the creator as the person. So when you hit create and then go back to here, so let's just do task three. See, that's that person column. And then you're gonna assign, see it assigns myself. Now, now let's say I, using a different example, I'm gonna delete this one. Let's just say, uh, you know, let's just say somebody else in my organization can make tasks on this board. Well, I don't want somebody else to be assigned. You know, I don't want the creator to be assigned. I want me to be assigned. So we don't really want to use an automation where the creator is the person. We want Adam to be the person on each one of these tasks. So this time we're going to create a custom automation. And then the process is still pretty similar. So when an item is created, so you click on the, one of the essentials. Then we're going to assign, and this is a drop down. So some of the most common ones are shown here. You can click on more options. There's a lot of different choices. Once you get to that point, then you're having some fun. But we're going to assign, I want to assign Adam, myself, as the person for everything on this board. So now, task four. And you're going to get, well, it might take a second. Come on, board. Yeah, when item is created, let's see. No, sometimes it's slow. We'll give it a second. So let's just say, and do another example. Let's just say this is everybody's to-do list. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, a little slow sometimes. So this is Adams. And... Uh, Mark. So let's just say I want Adam on these, but I, I want actually Mark's to be on those. So you can do it by group. You can add a new automation. And then when an item is created, and then, so you'll see that a lot of, of times you have a, a plus, so you can actually modify this first automation. So only when item is in this group, so mark group, 
then you'll assign to mark. Oh, well, sorry. Create, I assign person, mark as person. And then I'll do the same for me. So we'll do item created. And we'll assign, oh, oops, we got to item is in group Adam. Then we will assign Adam as assignee, as person. So I'm going to turn, I'm going to have these two and I'll show you. I'm going to send him an email. <laughs> He'll be okay with it. Test five. And then we'll do test six. So you'll see I got assigned for that one. Mark got assigned for this one. And that is a real basic and perhaps a not so basic overview on some of the functionality you can, you can use in automations. Uh, and it really cuts down on the number of errors because you don't have to remember to, you know, click on this and assign yourself. All right. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions about this, let me know. If you have any other questions, let me know that as well. This is how I get topics for new videos is questions from the audience, so to speak. Thanks.